Hello everyone! So as I was editing my other bonding videos, Anise got really sick. Nisi? Nisi? You going to the vet, mama? You're not feeling well, are you? No. She's not feeling well. We gonna see what's wrong with her. It was at this point that I suspected that she was in GI stasis because she was just laying in her litter box all day and she was not eating very well and she also would not drink any water. So I took her to the vet to double check and make sure she is okay and get any medicine that is needed, which as you could tell, the vet prepared us and gave us a lot of medicine to make her feel better because she was in GI stasis. Okay, so this video is just going to talk about how I caught Anise's GI stasis early and to give you some tips on what you should look for in your rabbit if they were to unfortunately fall into GI stasis. Also, the good news is I caught it early enough to where she felt better that night after taking her to the vet. He gave her three different injections. I think um, two were antibiotics and one was pain medication. But all I know is that she felt better and that she started eating and drinking that night. So if you would like to continue watching and get some tips on how to catch it early, you know, grab a snack, a drink, because I'm here to tell you what I did and how I caught it early. So keep watching. Also, I do want to apologize that this video is in portrait mode. I did a lot of recording really quick just to keep an eye on her and just, I wasn't really in YouTube recording. I wasn't in a YouTube recording mood because I was very concerned about her. So I did a few little um, snapshots here and there of her in portrait mode. So I do apologize now for that. But I do want to say that earlier in the video, you saw Anise laying in her litter box that is one of the cues that your rabbit might be in GI stasis is that they just lay in their litter box. That's not normal behavior. Also, the fact that I am rubbing her stomach. I'm going to tell you this now. Anise is like mozzarella. She does not like being touched. So for me to sit there and massage her stomach and behind her ears and doing all of this is not normal. Like she would rather not be touched. She, I respect her boundaries. She hates being pet and that's fine because Rillo was the same way, but now he likes being pet. I even pick up Rillo now, but that's off topic. <laughs> um, but she does not like being pet. I fed her her favorite treats. I gave her bananas. She did not eat the banana. I gave her dried beets. She didn't eat the beets. I gave her hay. She didn't eat that. I gave her water. She didn't drink. So I knew something was off. After she has been home for a few hours, she did start eating again. She ate her food. She ate hay. She drank water, but I still gave her her medication that the veterinarian recommended that she takes for the next few days. Also, another thing that I've noticed is that her little poops weren't the average size. They well, first were, they were non-existent. She didn't poop much, but they were really small. Itty bitty, itty bitty poops. As you can tell, they look like little bunny poops instead of the bigger rabbit poops as you can see next to hers. I think they, they're just really little. So that's another thing. Another sign you could tell that your rabbit is in GI stasis that their poops are really small in size. So the vet did tell me to give this to her if she was not eating very well and this is when we first came home. I was concerned because she has not eaten in a while so I did mix this up. I'm pretty sure this is critical care but it was in German so I'm not really sure if it's like their critical care which which might it might be the same thing. It looks the same. <laughs> it looks how I seen it online so anyway i put it in a syringe and i did offer it to her and of course she wasn't having it because she's not eating 
but I did want to make sure if it was because she's not eating or she didn't like the taste. And I put some in front of Rillo's mouth and he licked some of it and ended up liking it. So I knew it was because that she didn't want to eat. She still wasn't really ready to eat yet. And that's fine. That's totally fine. Um, I ended up making her take it anyway. But yeah, I try to respect her boundaries again and homegirl was not taking it so <laughs> i had to basically wrap her up in a blanket and force feed it to her yeah and that happened she like she still took it but it was hard So this was later on that night after I gave them another batch of hay and cleaned up their area. Um, I had to keep her moving. I tried my hardest to like have her go through her tunnels and in their little hidey houses just to keep her body going. Cause they, I've read that it's good to keep your rabbit moving just to keep their digestive systems going. So I kept messing with her so she wouldn't be so still. And yeah, I'm pretty sure I got on her nerves, but I mean, I had to, if it's to save your life, I really don't care. <laughs> I honestly think that is also what saved her life is that I woke up every two to three hours to make sure that she was moving the night before I took her to the vet. I kept trying to make her get up and walk around just to hopefully get her digestive system going and then the next morning i immediately took her to the vet but thank you so much for listening and i will make another video soon going into detail this was just a video that was a spur of the moment and i want to be fully transparent with y'all and if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and don't forget, don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Thank you all so much for subscribing and just listening to me and asking questions. I will see y'all in the next video and I will continue with the bonding series. See y'all later. Bye.